Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Jay Xavier Sports and the Jaguars picked up their second win of the season this past Sunday versus the Denver Broncos. Really magical moment uh, for Gardner Minshew. He's a very uh, he's, he's a very good quarterback and such a very good story from where he's been as a sixth round uh, rookie to where he is now and just to do the things that he's doing on the field. It's just something you you know we'll probably never really see again in the NFL, and I'm just really happy that he's on the Jaguars, and he's such a cool dude. You know when you see him, you know with the mustache and the bandana and the sunglasses, we saw the magical moments. You know he looked Russell Wilson. He looked like Russell Wilson, and he looked like I won't say Patrick Mahomes, but he looked like a very good quarterback. He was making those throws, and he came in clutch at the end of the game. With their second win of the season, thanks to Gardner Minshew, now we take Minshew Mania into the Carolinas to take on the Carolina Panthers. We lost our first two games of the season. Now we're on a two-game winning streak, and you know now it's time to take advantage of the opportunities as far as us being a hot team. Now the Carolina Panthers, they're in the same situation as well. They lost their first two games in, you know, versus the Rams, I believe. Yeah, the Rams and the Buccaneers. And both of those games were at home. And they've had two straight road games, and they won both of those. But we're kind of on the same path as far as both teams are coming in the game on a winning streak. Both teams have a young quarterback that came in because of the starting quarterback being injured. Um, obviously, we know our story with Gardner Minshew with Nick Foles being hurt. In Cam Newton's case, um, you know, there were some reports that he you know, probably played through the injury longer than what he needed to. But um, Kyle Allen is now the starter in Carolina, and he's done a fantastic job taking over that role. So we got two young quarterbacks that's been playing good for their franchise, and both franchises are very pleased with what they've seen in their young guys. The Panthers haven't won a game all season at home, so they're going to be hungry for a win at, at their place, you know. So it's going to be another tough road test uh, for Garner Minshew. You know, like I said, you know, he's produced a lot of magic for us, um, you know, this season, you know, we got a comeback win versus the Texans. You know, we went for two, unfortunately, and, and didn't convert on that. But we saw the magic there and then uh, pretty much blew out Tennessee. Could have had a couple more points in that game. But then the Denver Broncos game this past Sunday, you saw what he was able to do. We were down 17-3, down 17-6 at halftime. You know, Garner Minshew comes out. He does a fantastic job managing the game. And what can you say um, about Leonard Fournette? You know, a lot of people, including me and other Jaguar fans, are probably writing him off and probably making that conclusion that he's a bust. And, you know, rightfully so. You know, he was playing like a bust. You know, he wasn't playing up to standards, uh, up to him being the number four overall pick. So, obviously, you can see the frustration with fans and probably the coaching staff was up, was, was frustrated. But ultimately, I already know Leonard Fournette was probably the most frustrated, and I know he wanted to get going, and it was good to see him uh, get going, you know, with 26 carries, 225 yards. You know, you can't ask for a better performance than that, and he now, I think he's third or fourth in the league in rushing. So if we continue to run the ball like that, not saying we're going to get 200 yards a game, but if we continue to run the ball like that, we're going to be successful. That second half of the Denver Broncos game looked a lot like the 2017 season where we controlled the clock, we didn't turn the ball over, we made plays as far as winning plays. One thing that was different, though, from that Denver Broncos game was that we were able to come back. You know, we had a lot of confidence in the quarterback. When Joe Flacco scored that touchdown with about a minute or so left, I was thinking, hey, man, that's way too much time for Minshew to come down and at least get a field goal. The team has to have the ultimate faith in Minshew the way he's playing now, and it's only going to get better as long as our running game gets going because if Leonard Fournette's able to get going and able to hit the holes like he has been, it's going to be hard to slow down, you know, this offense. Not in terms of us putting up points, but as far as us controlling the clock, you know, like we did with that 10-minute drive in Denver, you know, that's going to be one of the key things that we're going to be trying to do this season. One thing the Jaguars must do is stop Christian McCaffrey. That's probably the number one thing that we're going to have to do Christian McCaffrey is one of the best running backs in the league, if not the best. We gotta watch out for him. He's a threat running the ball. He's a threat catching the ball. He just pretty much does everything for the Carolina Panthers. Leonard Fournette, you know, obviously our running back, was drafted ahead of Christian McCaffrey. And there's a lot of people that thought, you know, Christian McCaffrey maybe should have been 
um, the number one running back going out of that draft. You see Leonard Fournette improve. Obviously, you see the talent that Christian McCaffrey has. So um, hopefully one day Leonard Fournette can maybe get to that level. But um, it's clear that you know, now Christian McCaffrey's been the better back, so it'll be fun to see them go head-to-head. -head. And you got the matchup with Cal Allen and Gardner Minshew. Because I really like the things that I've seen from Cal Allen. He looks very poised in the pocket. Um, he did have three fumbles last week um, on the road in Houston. So that's one thing that we're going to have to maybe try to key in on because we had zero sacks versus the Broncos. The pass rush this year has kind of been, you know, up and down. It's been somewhat of a roller coaster. So, um... I really hope to see some pressure, you know, get some pressure from Ngakwe. We haven't really seen much from him this year, but um, hopefully he can get going. And Josh Allen, you know, he kind of had a good couple games here and there, but uh, I want to see him have another breakout game. I want to see him keep performing well. Um, and then, you know, obviously guys like Taven Bryant's coming along. Uh, Calais Campbell, you already know what he's going to give you. So I want to see this D-line really be elite, you know. Marcel Doris and Avery Jones, you know, they need to step up in a bigger way. Not that they've been playing bad, but I just want to see the defense be elite again like it was in 2017 because it was really all about that defensive line. As far as Jalen Ramsey goes, it's been, you know, this far in the video, I haven't mentioned Jalen Ramsey's name yet, which is probably a good thing. But uh, Jalen Ramsey, it's probably most likely that he's not going to practice or play this week. Um, that's just pretty much the trend that is going. Uh, 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 that's pretty much the trend that that I see that is going in, probably gonna go in that direction of him not playing. Right now, he's dealing with a back injury as far as just soreness in his back, so who knows how long that's gonna uh, leave him out. Um, not to say that, you know, we don't know how much pain he's in, but um, clearly when you ask for a trade and, you know, things like this start to transpire, uh, transpire, you know, people are gonna start to ask questions. His replacement, Trey Herndon, didn't really play all that well, so, um, I'm a little bit worried as far as that goes, but hopefully we can, um, you know, hopefully we can mask that a little bit. Like I said, with, you know, with our D-line getting some pressure on the young Kyle Allen, and then hopefully we can get that ball out like he was doing uh, this past week versus Houston. It's a very good matchup, and both teams came into the NFL at the same time, and this is it's a pretty good history between the Jags and the Panthers, so... I really feel like it's going to be a very fun game. I do like the direction that we're going in and the magic that Minshew has. So I actually think this is going to be a shootout type of game. Um, both teams have been kind of struggling this year scoring, but I do think this will be a game where, you know, the defense might be playing good, but I do think both teams might be scoring a lot. Uh, I do have the Jags winning uh, winning this contest 31-28. to 28. Um, I do believe it will be that type of game. I might be crazy thinking that, but... Um, you know, the NFL is one of those, you know, things where, you know, you can't really predict it. So just kind of going off the rails a little bit. No, I'm not saying it's going to be an easy win by any means necessary. It might come down again to a Josh Lambeau field goal. Hopefully we win. Like I said, I was winning 31-28. So let's go ahead and get this victory in Carolina.